Hello, trading is closed on November 13th, 2019. We'll go over our calls. Look for the pattern with the early low, and this is it. Tomorrow's pattern has the early high. Doesn't mean you won't gap down first. Had a target of 3096.66. That's this red line. Now, the preferred time frame for this was today, but my rule says if you gap smartly in the in the undesired direction, I'm just predicting the price, not the date. So that's not a prediction that it's not going to print today. Just a prediction it'll print at some point. Not necessarily today, but it did, and there was resistance over it, and that's all the system says. During the day, we got an ultimate sell signal here, said this drop was false, said the rally was false. This is the minimum. You usually get more than the minimum. So that's all work. This drop was also called as false. We retraced to the resistance area specified by the system. So far, at least, the resistance has held. Well, here's what we said. We said uh, here was the target. It was favored to print before the close unless we get down smartly. We get down smartly, but it, it printed anyway. Um, yesterday, Standard & Poor hit a new high and transports dropped. Today, in spite of the rally, transports kept on dropping. Not only did they keep on dropping, they dropped by more than 1%. And shortly after hitting a new high this month, undercut all these prior highs. That's a rejection of the break higher. It's a negative pattern. Gets invalidated if this high of the month is taken out, but almost always it's a sign that you're going to reverse, and usually sooner rather than later. And if that's what's going to happen to the transports, I personally don't think it'll be too long before other things fall in line. We've broken through what seems to be a rising wedge. We have these lines we can't break through. We rally and rally and we close under all these highs. Here was the breakout a week ago. Here's the initial impulse up. This will move up, can't close over it despite trying for a week. Um, I think there's a real good chance yesterday's high was it, but it's not a lock. I do have another potential target tomorrow, which has been my date for a long time. If we come within two days, that's close enough for me. If yesterday's high holds, my feelings don't get hurt. Tomorrow I look at these numbers, I'm not certain we're going to see them. The action on transports looks pretty negative to me. So Thursday's pattern has the early high we could get down. Can't sustain moves to new highs. Talked about the transports. Can't be certain until we undercut some prior lows. We have candidates for highs or, or, or around here. Um, it should be very close to current prices and very close to current times. Before we start the drop, I can't say it's yesterday's high. I can't even be sure it's tomorrow, but I don't really think we're going to have to wait a heck of a lot longer. And if we break out to new highs on all the averages, well, that's the stop. And that's today's call.